So I want to talk to you about uh, some of the tools that flint knappers use when they're making uh, arrowheads and dart points and tools for cutting or scraping or carving wood, different things like that. The first tool that generally you use in this process is called a hammerstone. And here's a couple examples right here of ones that I like to use. These are sandstone cobbles out of the Santa Cruz River. I just go down in the floodplain and pick them up. These have been tumbled. I think these have eroded out of the mountain, some mountains south of Tucson and been carried in the river for a long distance and tumbled to these nice round shapes. So these work really great. I like sandstone because it it's not too hard. If you use too hard of a hammerstone and you go to hit a flake, oftentimes what can happen is, is these flakes, they will split, they will break. Your flakes will break up into pieces. And so it's hard to get a good flake to make something out of, and it's pretty frustrating. You blow through a lot of rock and waste it. So having hammerstones that are a bit softer, when you strike the rock with them, you don't have as bad a breakage of your flakes. Your flakes stay intact and they work better. So I really like these little sandstone cobbles. They work really good. And then the, the other tools that I use are um, made out of deer antlers or elk antlers or moose antlers, but they're generally they're made out of bone antler. And so this, this is a little mule deer antler right here. And so the two tools that I get out of this kind of an antler is the base end, I get these billets and make these little billets out of them or bigger billets, I should say. I make these. So these billets are used just the same way as you'd use a hammer stone for striking flakes. These billets are used the same way for striking flakes. I like them um, and they work very well. They give, you know, they'll give you a lot of good control um, when you start bifacially flaking, and flaking flakes back and forth, making bifaces and tools. So uh, that's the next one. These are the base end, end of the deer antler. And you generally flake with the hard end that went up towards the head. It's, it's harder. Um, and so uh, these antlers are, these are really good. And then you use the other end of the deer antler. You use the tines. You come in and you cut these off and then you make these little, just these little pressure flaking tines. And these are for pushing flakes off for the final stages of the process of making arrowheads and, and dart points and such.